Hello everyone. So today I'm going to go ahead and demo for you guys how to add windows to your One Point Perspective Cityscape from Worms Eye View. It's not too hard, so make sure that you're paying attention. And if you have any questions, you can always ask in class or you can go back to the video and watch it until you understand how to add your windows. Let's make this a little bit bigger. That way you guys can really see what's going on. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So, some things that you need to remember um, before, you know what, before we actually start drawing, let's pause that, let's go back, sorry. Um, things to remember before we start jumping in and drawing. When we are talking about windows, we need to think about where we are facing. So, this whole side right here that's all colored in yellow, that's the front of the building, okay? That's the front. The top of the front in red right here is a horizontal line. It's a line that goes from side to side. So all the windows that are gonna be in the front of the building, they're gonna line up with that horizontal red line. They're all gonna be straight horizontal across, okay? Um, the only diagonal lines that you're gonna have are the lines that you see going from the vanishing point down this way, okay? It's the only time it's gonna be a diagonal line. So um, your windows have to make sure that they are, uh, if they have diagonal lines, they're all going to the vanishing point and that they are lined up with the top of your building and as you are moving, as the windows are closer to the vanishing point, they are getting smaller. As they're moving away from the vanishing point, they are getting larger. So let's just go ahead and watch how we're gonna do this. So the windows I'm gonna show you guys are very simple to make, nothing too complicated. They're just gonna be some simple windows and we're gonna start at the top of the building and we're gonna work our way down. So remember, I'm lining up my ruler with the top of the front of the building and I'm gonna start to move my way down. Now, at first, the windows are going to be close together and they'll look like they're the same size. But as time goes on, they are going to start getting bigger. The size is going to start increasing. So there we go. It's starting to get bigger. Just like that. So again, the closer the windows are to the vanishing point, they're going to be smaller. As the windows move away from the vanishing point, vanishing point towards the edge of the page they are going to get bigger. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it so I know we'll all probably fall asleep if we watch all of these windows being made. So soon as my video wants to, there it goes. Okay, let's fast forward. There go the lines all the way down. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the next windows, which are gonna be the side of the building. Okay, the side of the building is this part right here in yellow, right? So the side of the building, the windows are going to line up with this line right here, that line at the top. So now all these windows are going to be straight up and down vertical, okay? They're going to be straight up and down vertical. So let's go ahead and watch how we do those. Lining up my ruler with that vertical line. I'm going to start drawing my lines. Again, it's the same idea. The closer you are to the vanishing point, the smaller your windows are. And then once you start moving away from the vanishing point, you can increase the space between each line that you're drawing to make your windows. Another important thing to remember, let me pause it just real quick because it's hard to see with my ruler in the way. If you have a vertical line right here at the top on the front of the building, it needs to match up, sorry, the horizontal line needs to match up with the vertical line that you're drawing right now, OK? 
okay? So those have to match up. And once I pull my ruler away, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And if I pull my ruler away, and you still have no idea what I'm talking about, ask me in class and I'll show you. I'll show you on paper. Okay, video, come on. There we go. Oh, sorry, guys. I had it and then I lost it. Let me see how we can get our video back up and running. So again, um, with a one point perspective, guys, it's really important to make sure that you are um, lining everything up with your ruler. It's all about straight lines and angles and making sure that everything is lined up correctly. So here we go, we're doing the last lines of our building. And once we're done with this building, I'm gonna show you guys um, some other examples of windows. Again, you can look up inspiration on your phone. You can Google uh, Worms Eye View Cityscape. You can Google architecture, you can Google buildings, and you'll find a whole bunch of Google images with a variety of buildings and windows. So there is my window, there are my windows all done. So I'm gonna flip it over and show you what I've done on the other side. So here are some uh, different windows and buildings that I found online and I just went ahead and adapted them and made them my own. I'm still using the same rule, the same principle that as the vanishing point, um, as the windows are closer to the vanishing point, they're smaller and as they move away, they're bigger. I just looked up some different designs and made them my own. So you can do the same thing. If you have any questions or if you need more ideas, you can look at the people next to you because a lot of your classmates are having some, are making some really cool buildings. So please make sure that you ask questions. And if you want to know how somebody did something on their paper, just ask them. Okay. If you need any help, let me know in class. Thanks and have fun with your windows.